Men of Reddit, what is a time you felt creeped out by a woman? When my girlfriend puts her jumper on she lets it get stuck on her head then makes angry ape noises and it creeps me out and scares me. Had a stalker. One date that ended after 35 minutes. I was able to text my sister and she called me pretending something bad had happened. Pictures didn't match the online profile. Also more or less, I got the this girl is crazy vibe. She didn't take the hint, so I blocked her. She kept getting new phone numbers. I documented everything. One day, me being nice, figured I should finally just tell her in person I wanted nothing to do with her, so I agreed to meet in a public place. We met at a pizza parlor, and she sets her purse on the table, and opens it to reveal a handgun. I changed my tune, and went to the bathroom, and called the cops. Turns out she had gotten my personal info, when I was unconscious in hospital, and had targeted me from the beginning. She went to jail for felony stalking, and lost her job as a nurse. Edit, I want to use my top comment to provide my advice. In any situation document everything. Screenshot messages. Screenshot your phone call list. Back them up somewhere else besides your phone. The easiest way to stop harassment stalking is to to get a temporary protection order and then a restraining order and or a no contact order and screenshots and detailed documentation makes it easier to obtain one. This is not legal advice. Just personal advice from personal experience. Invited her over, I fell asleep while watching movie. I woke up because I couldn't breath. I couldn't breath because she was trying to make out with me while I was passed out asleep. When I was 16 or 17 I had a job working in a staff cafe or a large department store. This one female employee who must have been in her late 40s hit on me relentlessly. Every day I worked as a server she would flirt with me. No, flirt is too mild a word. She would graphically tell me what she wanted to do to me. Other people around. Didn't matter. She was a heavy smoker, and looked like she was gaunt, and looked older than she was, and she was creepy as hell. My manager told her to knock it off, but it didn't work. In the end my manager moved me to the back area doing food prep, because of this one lady. Even then I could hear her asking where I was from the counter. I didn't really mind, being in the back area though. I was just glad, to not have to deal with her anymore. She should have been fired. One day this woman walks along the street pushing a baby carriage and dragging some 5 year old boy along. And she stops right in front of my house while I'm trimming the hedge and my wife is right beside me deadheading the flower beds. She points at me and tells the kid, you wanna see your dad? That's your dad right there. The kid sort of stares and they all leave silently without a word. I'd never seen that woman in my life. I have no ex-girlfriends. It made for an uncomfortable mood at supper as I explained these facts to my wife. Edit, should have specified. Back then I was working as a field geologist and had to leave home for months at a time for my job. When you are in this line of work, you and your spouse need to have absolute trust in one another. We did, and we do, but to maintain that you have to be absolutely candid about everything. When I was telling my wife I had no idea who that was, I kept telling myself that's exactly what the kind of guy who keeps a girlfriend in every city and port would say. Didn't enjoy the experience, even if it makes for good storytelling. Two tenths, would not recommend. I'm feeling a lot worse for the little boy in this situation. I worked as a lifeguard for a summer camp. We hung out with the camp counselors a lot throughout the summer. There was one counselor, let's call her Mary, who always gave me a weird vibe, but I ignored it. At the end of summer we all go to Mary's family cottage in Wasaga for the weekend. After the first night we were all sitting around for breakfast and Mary told everyone there how cute I was when I was sleeping, and that she took photos of me while I was sleeping. I nope the duck out of there. Worst case Ontario right there. Was at a party and passed out in a couch from intoxication. A friend of a friend who I had known, had a crush on me for months was also there. I guess at some point almost everyone at the party went outside, and for an undetermined amount of time, while everyone was gone she proceeded to grope me through my pants and kiss my neck. I only know this, because after an undetermined period, someone came in, saw what was happening, and told her to leave. I only have very vague memories of her actually touching me, but I recall not having the strength to move. Found out she is now posting hash METOO, 
Edit. The status was taken down shortly afterwards, either from close friends confronting her about it, or she simply remembered what she did. College dude here. Full semester. It's probably 2-3 weeks into the semester. I'm a pretty shy guy, and haven't talked to anyone in the class, let alone befriend them. I'm at home one evening and just starting a fire in the wood stove downstairs when all of a sudden, I get an email notification on my phone from some jolly email address. It said hey what's up. For a split second I thought it was spam, but surely this was no spam. No advertising, no links, no anything. Her name was in the email, so I cross referenced that with the roster for all my classes, and I found a match. It was a girl in my business class. I replied back casually saying nothing much, how about yourself, and blah blah blah. We ended talking for a while about really random shit. I've dated about 5 girls in my life and I could tell that this girl was interested because we spoke about the most random shit, yet we never stopped talking. I have to admit, I did like the attention. However, I made sure that I didn't cross the line between friends and flirtatious. We stopped talking around 1 to 2 am and say goodnight. The next day, I wake up and do my normal thing. I went to the grocery store and probably ran a few other errands. Around 5 to 6 pm, I get a message from our girl before, let's call her Jane. Jane messaged me going seriously? I was confused and thought maybe she accidentally sent that to me instead of someone else. I reply telling her that, and she says no, you seriously didn't message me the entire day. I was like oh I'm sorry, I was just kinda busy I guess. She goes well you need to understand that I can't always be the one putting in the effort, you have to make an effort to message me too. Let me remind you, this is literally the second day of me ever talking to her. I still don't even know what she looks like, I've only met her a day before via email. I meet her in class the following week and we walk around 5 exclamation point 3 campus and talk. We were still friends and weren't doing anything to suggest otherwise, but the way she treated me felt like we were not only in a relationship, but as if we've been in a struggling relationship for a year or so. It was crazy. It's like we skipped the flirting, dating, tons of decks and happy times, and went right to the relationship struggles. It was definitely a new experience for me. After a few days I told her I couldn't do this anymore. Swear to god it felt like I was breaking up with a girl I never even went out with, let alone get to know. It took a few days but it finally got to the point where she got mad and just said duck it and stop messaging me. I don't know what god was trying to test me with, but I hope I passed. When I was in college I was working retail and I had creepy girls quite often. Anywhere from a co-working accidentally running her hand across my crotch or ass every time we walked past each other, or some weird grandma relentlessly trying to set me up with her 14 year old granddaughter, or some mid 40s women stick her business card down my pants while I was trying to help her son find something. But the absolute very worst was my first ever open bar wedding that I went to after turning 21. I got stupidly drunk and was sitting in a chair trying to fight off passing the duck out, when some drunk girl comes up to me, and tries to stick her disgusting used dantes, that she has sweat in all day into my mouth. I was a newly minted 18 year old at the time, and visiting my dad. They had some new neighbors that were throwing a party, to get to know the neighborhood. The woman, maybe 40 at the time, was chatting with me, in hindsight she was flirting with me, and kept touching and rubbing my arm. Finally she asked how old I was, and when I replied I got met with oh, 18 year old skin. I love it. It's so soft and supple. I noped right out of there. I had a drunk boss follow me into my office during a holiday party. It was years ago, but I still remember her leathery skin and the smell of her musky perfume. I don't remember her exact words as she bent over my desk, but I was in there to get my briefcase and coat so I could go home, and she intimated that I wasn't going anywhere until she said so. She was drunk, 5 feet 3 inches and maybe 100 pounds at the ripe old age of 60 something, so she sure as hell couldn't stop me, but she was my boss, so I hesitated. Finally I smiled and walked right past her back into the party, where I found my R rep. I asked her to speak in private. She wrote up some letter that I signed, and she said she'd keep it in her desk in case anything ever happened again. 
I don't remember the contents of the document, but I got the feeling this was not standard practice. This was a long time ago, and it was my first real job, before I even graduated college. So I'm shaky on the details, but nothing ever happened again, and this boss wasn't weird to me after that, so I kinda forgot about it when I left the job about a year later. Still, I remember being really spooked and not knowing how to handle it. Got any similar examples? Leave it in the comments below.